Welcome to the NACE International Institute Professional Development Hours Update video. This video will provide instructions on how to submit PDHs for certification renewal. All certification renewals require PDHs. When you sign into your certification portal, if you have a renewal available, it will be visible here. If this bar is orange, it will indicate that you still have to submit additional PDHs for renewal. You can see how many PDHs are required with the number in the center of the bar and this list item here indicating the number of PDHs required. To begin adding PDHs, please click Manage Your PDHs. Then click Add PDHs from the Professional Development Hours table. The PDH overview will appear. Instructions here provide you with an overview of requirements, the information as to what is needed for a PDH to count, and instructions on what to do to complete the application once your PDHs are entered. Please select a category, either by scrolling through the list of PDHs available, or selecting one that meets PDH that you know you have. Enter the name of the PDH when you have it ready. Enter the number of hours that this PDH qualifies for. Finally, select the date that you accomplished this particular PDH. Once you are done, click Save Changes. You may enter as many PDHs as you feel are necessary. All that is required is that you enter enough PDHs to meet the minimum requirement. Please note, two categories of two distinct and separate types are required. Once you have adequate PDHs, please return to the home page. In this video, we will be discussing the various types of professional development recognized by NACE International for the purposes of renewing a certification. Please note that the examples in this video are not comprehensive. There are many varieties of professional development recognized by NACE International. Corrosion-related courses includes attending corrosion courses from corrosion education providers, such as NACE, SSPC, ASM, and i -Corps. Technical meeting attendance can include the attendance of meetings to resolve corrosion-related issues or topics including client, employer, and staff meetings. Technical committee service includes participation in or contribution to any technical committee related to corrosion. Technical community service includes activities that support the community, such as mentorship, instructor duties, or application review duties. Technical paper presentation or authorship includes writing documents such as books, papers, or articles for presentation or publishing. The articles, books, or papers must be related to technical corrosion issues. Study of corrosion-related technical papers includes the reading of corrosion-related documents, including journals, magazines, manuals, textbooks, and standards. Company-sponsored corrosion-related programs include any program held or sponsored by your company related to corrosion, such as new internal training or new standards updates. Training offered by equipment manufacturers includes any third-party training offered by manufacturers of equipment used for corrosion prevention tasks. This includes but is not limited to test gauges, applicators, and removal equipment. Tutorials, seminars, and workshops covers attendance of corrosion-related group events typically as an audience member rather than a participant. Speaking at a conference or chapter meeting of professionals includes any public speaking at an event such as corrosion or section meetings. Providing peer or technical review of a publication, book, or paper includes providing oversight, review, proofreading, or editing of corrosion-related documents for publishing. Subject matter expert or SME work includes acting in the role of SME for professional or academic settings, serving as a knowledge resource for other professionals or academics. 
Industry-related webinars or online seminars or tutorials include any items as per seminars or tutorials, but via internet resources. Safety includes attendance or coordination of safety meetings, development of site safety standards, and similar procedures. Surface preparation includes review or development of surface preparation standards or requirements. Coding application includes review or development of inspection and test plans, product sheets, standards, or requirements. Coatings in general can include miscellaneous items such as product feedback reviews for coating suppliers or regular coating update reports. Finally, other activity as submitted and approved by NACE International Institute will vary as it will depend on the item that is submitted for review as well as the decision by NACE International Certification Department Management. Please remember that the items in this video are for guidance only. You should be providing specific examples of your PDH when you are submitting your information for certification renewal purposes. We hope that this video has been able to assist you. Thank you.